So I think even the birds in Mississippi know that there's a storm coming. They just out of nowhere started doing this. Look, look, they're going crazy. Look at that. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. It is Sunday and it is the 10th, uh, 2017 and we're coming to you live again from Tupelo, Mississippi. Still, we're not coming home till Tuesday and uh, I had a very nice surprise this morning and you guys Will not know who this is, but this is Steven. He is a very good viewer, fan, awesome guy, and I got to meet him in person. They're from Mississippi. What town are you from? Yazoo. Yazoo, Mississippi. In case any of the rest of you are in Mississippi, you'll know that town. I don't know that town because I don't know anything in small towns like this, but they were very nice to bring me to lunch today. We got some nice background music. Anyways, they drove like three hours to come see me and say hi, which is awesome. Thank you guys, and bring me to lunch. Hopefully that music doesn't get me trademark removed. <laughs> but um, look, we're in Lee County, for those of you that are familiar with it. Police, and I'm not used to these small towns like some of you guys, but uh, I'm getting a lot of new adventures. Where did we eat? What is that place called? Mugshots. Mug shots. Mug shots. We don't have that in Florida. So uh, good lunch and uh, a new place I can add to my list. And uh, lots of people that actually hang out with each other and have fun in small towns. We don't do that in Florida. And they pointed out to me that there's a park over there. Right over there. And we're gonna go over there and film in a minute because they're gonna head back home because it's like a long drive. But he gets to be on the video. Thank you. Thank you. That was a long drive, three hours. So step up your game, everyone. <laughs> okay, so they're headed back to Southern Mississippi to Yazoo. Uh, it's really great. Thank you, Steven. Thank you to your awesome other half as well for hanging out with me, for having lunch and uh, coming to see me that far. So we're just gonna walk. I'm gonna show you the difference in Tampa. You guys are used to me filming in like big city downtown. This is small town Tupelo. This is where Elvis was born. And uh, it's awesome, it's a good time. Small town people, small town. There ain't no skyscrapers. You guys don't see any skyscrapers around here, do you? Nothing, just, uh, just regular old down home people. It's kind of nice to be outside of the city for once. Kind of nice to be in a new place. Kind of nice just to hang out and relax. I'm gonna spend a few minutes exploring this little part of town and then I'm gonna meet back up with Kate. She was with her sister getting some uh, some stuff. So I'm gonna meet back up with her shortly. I wish I had my drone here. I'm gonna start getting some drone shots for you guys, but look, Tupelo, Mississippi City Hall. You guys see that? Kind of get a zoom up. All right, everybody, so after a wonderful lunch with Steven and his other half, I decided to come up the hill and look where we ended up. This is the birth house of Elvis, none other than the king, Elvis Presley himself. Again, I've never been here, so uh, first trip here, I'm going to show you guys. Come on up this hill, I'm already parked up there. And uh, Kate's not with me, but uh, you guys can see the fountain in the background. This is where the king, none other, the king of rock and roll was born and grew up. I think that's his church across the street, but um, this is his house. So we're going to go in. I think we got to buy a ticket and uh, we're going to check out inside of Elvis' house here. Here it is, guys. Elvis' birth house. I'm sure some of you guys are probably a fan. There he is. Kind of make this like a thumbnail, right? That'll work good. Parked out front. There's some more of the house, but parked out front. Something that gets me excited, you guys know that, this Plymouth. Check it out. If I had to guess, this must have been one of his, one of his whips. There it is. Oh, here you go, Memphis bound. This car is on loan from the Tupelo Auto Museum. There it is. All right, let's go inside. Let's let's head over here, go inside, and check out inside of Elvis's house. Okay, so we're inside this fancy Elvis gift shop, which has the craziest Elvis stuff ever. Are you seeing these shirts? Okay, here is 
some Elvis coffee mugs. Dishwasher safe too. Impressive. These mugs are not dishwasher safe. Not dishwasher safe. <laughs> and these ones are dishwasher safe. Here's some cool Elvis pictures during his performing days. Look, Elvis bubblegum for 15 cents. How cool is that? Tickets, admission $10 to the Mississippi Coliseum. I guess that was probably expensive back then. That's probably like 100 bucks. Come over here. Elvis on a motorcycle. There's a Hawaii concert, obviously. They're in hula gear. Fun in Acapulco. That was Elvis in the movies. Very cool. All right, we're out back of the Elvis museum thing. This is Elvis's outhouse. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. The outhouse, yep, there it is. This is a replica. Oh, it's not the real one. Typical poor Southern neighborhood. Original outhouse located behind the rural rental houses along Saltillo Road was shared by members of the Church of God. Guy Harris, who grew up with Elvis, remembers outhouses from his young. We used a Sears catalog for toilet paper. There was no such thing as Charmin. Oh my God. There it is. This isn't the real one, because if Elvis went to the bathroom here, I'd totally be in this. <laughs> Alright, this is Elvis' Assembly of God Church. This is where the family came. And here is the church. Can we go in here? Please wait until this session is complete before you enter. Oh, no, we can't go in. Sunday morning. Oh, they're actually having church right now. Alright, this is the Elvis Fountain of Life. Elvis birthplace. house Elvis was born in, grew up in, lived in, all that good stuff. We're gonna go inside in just a second. Elvis is swing. like a 1935 model? Uh, probably a bit earlier than that. Well, look, that was a paycheck. What year was the house originally built? 34. 34. Mm -hmm. They even have Elvis playing in the bathroom. It serenades you while you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> Here he comes. I don't want to get trademarked, but there's Elvis. It even has red sinks. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis, thanks. All right, out back of Elvis's house is this giant hill, which will be the most exercise I've gotten in a while. But they've got a monument up here, it looks like. And uh, we're gonna climb this hill and go see what it's about up here. None of this was probably here, obviously, back when he lived here, but obviously as a tourist attraction, they've built it. Here you go. That's the whole museum. The house is out front. And we got these giant stairs for what I assume is the most dedicated of fans. But we're gonna make the trek up for you guys. For those of you that haven't been to Tupelo like I haven't. Maybe the last time I come here for a long time or ever. So we're gonna go up here and see what it is. It didn't look this big from the road, but man, they got some property over here. I'm sure this place is packed 
on the day of Elvis's birth, which is January, January 3rd or January 8th. I'll have to check again when I go back down there. And the day of his death. I'm sure this place is massively packed. This is the Elvis statue at the top of the hill. Him as a child with his first guitar. Him as a rock star. And then we'll read you guys this. Elvis at 11 on January 8th, 1946. So he's born in uh, 35. Uh, Elvis' mother Gladys took him to Tupelo Hardware to buy a present. Elvis was thinking a 22 caliber rifle or bicycle. Uh, Gladys was thinking dangerous and dangerous. After a bit of crying, he was finally persuaded to choose a guitar. Presley's gave their son a $7.75 birthday gift and it was a priceless legacy to the rest of us. So there's where he got his guitar at 11. There is that. You can pause that. Here, I'll, I'll stabilize it. You guys can pause it and read it if you want. And then the entertainer. And then it's got a label of 18 number one hits, 38 top 10, 85 top 30, and 80 weeks at number one. <laughs> 